Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, so guys, I'm going to do the 24 hours drawing challenge again. If you guys don't know what this challenge is, I basically made this video like more than a year ago and it has like more than 3 million views. I know. And in that video, I promised you guys I would do another 24 hours challenge video, but that never happened. Okay, wait. Hear me out. After I did that challenge, I went on to a huge hiatus. Basically, um, these challenges are fun, but sometimes it could be a little bit too overwhelming. I kind of pushed myself to the point that I was like too exhausted and couldn't really have a fun time making art anymore. So I needed a little bit of time to kind of chillax and just kind of like prepare myself. And guys, I'm finally ready. So if you guys don't know what this challenge is, I'm basically going to be drawing for 24 hours and the rules. I will eat, I will sleep, I will do my necessities, and I'll go to the bathroom. Cause like, I know some people are like super strict with these challenges and they would literally lock themselves in the room and use like bottles to pee in. But guys, I think that's like a whole another challenge. I am going to use my bathroom. I am going to feed my dog. Like I am going to do the necessities. But other than that, I will be sitting here drawing for 24 hours. And last time, I think I paced myself a little bit too fast and I think I ended up making like 11 drawings. But today I'm going to kind of slow down find my pace and maybe make like five drawings or like six. It's really important to like challenge yourself in art but more than anything it's really important to have fun. So guys I'm going to have fun today. So yeah let's just jump right in. 24 hours drawing challenge. Let's get started. Okay, so here I have a clock and it's currently 4.08 p.m. You know what, let's kind of change it a little bit and make this four o'clock. So yeah, it's currently four o'clock and I'm going to be drawing until 4 p.m. the next day. <gasps> I'm finally doing this challenge again. Okay, what to draw? I'm not really in the mood of drawing anime characters, so I think I'm just going to draw my own character. And first off first, I think I'm going to start off with like a maid. You know what, let's just get started because I want to draw but with no plans. Let's see how this goes. So I asked you guys your favorite anime and I noticed that I've already drawn most of the recommendations. Like I got a lot of Demon Slayer, Boku no Hero, Promised Neverland. But since I've already drawn them so many times before, I just decided to draw random characters that I really felt like drawing at the moment. So lately I've been like reading books, learning kind of how to draw. So one thing that I'm trying today is this technique where you just draw without using any lines. Cause you know some people like start off with like a circle, line, square, the anatomy and everything. But apparently that makes the drawing a little bit too stiff. So this is a technique where you just like draw. You don't think about the anatomy, you don't think about anything, but you just draw whatever you want to draw. And then later on, you kind of draw some lines and fix it up. So this is a part where I'm trying to fix it up a little. And it's easy to tell if it's crooked or not if you look from the back. Okay, now I'm going to work on the lines. I don't have the proportions perfect yet, but it's okay. And I'm actually not going to use pen and paper for this part. I'm actually going to use a drawing tablet. This is another technique that I've been wanting to use. I'm going to do the lines using a drawing tablet, but I will color it in traditionally. So first off first, I'm going to take a picture. Some people ask me how I put it in the computer. I literally just take a picture. So here I have my drawing inside the laptop. This is where I'm going to fix like the proportions and draw in the lines. It's so easy to shift and make small adjustments on the tablet. You can copy and paste, redo, make the eyes smaller and stuff. So it's so much easier to control the anatomy using a tablet compared to drawing traditionally. But then something really weird happened. Oh my gosh, guys, Lavi just like barked out of nowhere and she never barks. Like, it really scared me right now. I wonder if like dogs can see like ghosts. She's fine, but she was like barking at nothing for the longest time. Anyways, let's get back to drawing. So yeah, back to the drawing. So basically, I'm going to fix the anatomy and do the line art using a digital tablet. 
Then I'm going to print it out using a normal printer onto a Copic paper. Today I'm going to be using paper that is made specifically for Copic markers. I've never used this technique before so I'm just trying out new stuff. Oh yeah, I need to save. Guys, it's really important to save because if your computer just like shuts off or something, you're going to lose all the data. And I've done this before. It's not fun. I never really noticed that I can just color in a digital line art with traditional mediums. It was like, psh, mind blown. By using this technique, you can always restart from line art if you mess it up like halfway. So I definitely recommend this technique if you've never tried before. Okay. I think I like it. So now I'm just going to change the color of the lines. Hmm, what color should I make it? I think I'm going to make her eyes pink. Let's see how this works because I've never used this technique before. I'm just trying out new things. Here's the outline, looking good. And now I'm just going to print this using my normal printer, BRB. And here's my line art. The good thing about this technique is that you can always like print it again and start from the beginning. So now I'm just going to use my Copic markers to color it in. And while I'm doing this, I think I'm going to like watch some YouTubers that I like. I just want something on the side to like feel more comfortable. Oh, and please let me explain. I am not a professional artist. In fact, I've never really learned art. I'm self-taught and I just draw for fun. I just like to share my art and share my experience with you guys because I think that this content may help someone in this world in some kind of way. I'm so grateful and I love making these videos because I received letters saying that my video really helped them go through surgery and through dark times or like my videos help them feel more motivated into drawing again after like giving up and like that's so magical. I'm saying this because I get a lot of hate. Like, just a few days ago, someone took screenshots of this site where they talked bad about me, about how ugly I am, and how bad my art is, and my video helps no one, and so on. And that person just sent me all these messages through Twitter and said, I agree every single thing here. Talking bad about me on a random website is one thing, but like taking screenshots and tagging me and all of that is like another thing. And I'm like, it's so sad how some people have to do that. And you know what? I'm still going to be here making videos because I know what I'm doing could bring a little bit of light to someone and that's what matters. And the reveal. Ta-da! I think she turned out really cute. It's definitely a new style. I'm trying out new techniques. And I'm definitely having fun. Yeah, so far so good. And I think this drawing took like four hours, five hours to draw. But first drawing complete, let's move on to the next. Okay, next up, what should I draw? I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like a schoolgirl. And again, it's not going to be like a specific anime character. I'm just gonna draw like a schoolgirl out of my head. And back to sketching. I'm just using normal copy paper and a Dr. Grip pencil. I think it's because I grew up using these to draw, but like I just can't sketch using other stuff. Like I can never sketch on a drawing tablet or on like other expensive quality paper. It needs to be this white copy paper. I remember when I was younger, my dad would bring back lots of paper from work that was like misprinted or would just get like thrown away for me to draw on. That's where my art started. And again, I'm just going to take a picture and put it into my laptop. And I'm just going to print it out. So I'm actually trying out a different new paper. I want to see which paper works best for me. Apparently this one's going to be a lot more blendable. Let's get started. So I use E0000. Is that four zeros? Yes. For the skin and R20 for the cheeks and some shadows. Like those two are my go-to colors. I always like to make the cheeks a little rosy and add like a highlight at the end. So this paper it was my first time using this paper, but it blended out so nicely. 
Like for my first drawing, I used a different paper, but I noticed that the ink wasn't blending in that great, and some parts became a little bit blotchy. But this one just like over blended, so I had to be careful. Seriously, each paper is so different, so I really recommend trying out a few and choosing the one that you like. I think I'm going to stick with this paper that I'm using here. And for the eyes, I decided to use green. I always use like brown, pink, blue, and purple, so I wanted to go with a color that I normally don't go with, and I have to say it turned out really pretty. I think I'm going to start coloring in eyes with green a lot more. And while I was drawing her, I decided to get some dinner for myself and Lavi. Hi Lavi! Okay, do you want to show them your tricks? Lavi, osuari! Ote! Fuse! House! <laughs> okay, here you go. And back to the drawing. We're almost done. Well, not this video, but this drawing. I just added some designs on the skirt using some white pens for the lines. And here's my second drawing. Okay, not bad. This could be one of my favorite drawings so far. Like, I don't mean today. I mean like in all my drawings that I've drawn. And it's already like 11 p.m. to 12. So while I was drawing, I ate some dinner and fed my puppy. So I'm doing my stuff here and there and I'm a bit tired, but I feel like I could still go on since I'm a night person. So let's move on to my third drawing. Hmm, this thinking part takes a long time too. How about like a random idol girl? Okay, an idol girl it is. So just a heads up, it took me a while to draw her. I had to like re-sketch, rethink, redo everything, and like, I was getting a bit tired. I was starting to lack some judgments, and I ended up really not liking this drawing. Everything about this is just like, so wrong. I'm really, really, really not feeling this. I powered through, so I finished it, and it ended up looking like this. This turned out way different from what I imagined. I made all the wrong color choices. Some parts became kind of sloppy. I guess this is what happens if you draw for like 12 hours straight at 4 in the morning. So guys, I'm just going to sleep for now and come back later. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Um, I think I kind of overslept. Don't worry, I did my hair, I did my makeup, but I'm just wearing the same thing from yesterday. So, um, it's currently 11 a.m. and I feel very refreshed. I don't feel tired at all, so I'm ready to draw, guys. By the way, I'm just looking at my drawing from yesterday and I have to say, um, I don't think she's going into my portfolio. Guys, um, I think it's okay to like not like your drawing. I was just a little bit too tired and I wasn't making the right choices. The blending wasn't that great. So sadly, it was a fail for me. But yeah, let's just move on. I'm ready to draw more. So yesterday, I noticed that I used a little bit too much time to just like think about what to draw. So I decided to go to my nearest bookstore and buy some magazines for some ideas. I think I'm just going to choose a page and turn that into a drawing. Ooh, let's check the goodies inside. Ooh. And the reveal. Oh, this is so cute. And it's actually like really good quality. A cherry mirror. It's a really cute, adorable mirror with lip gloss. Oh, that's actually really pigmented. I thought it was going to be a lot more sheer. Hey, not bad. This and the other magazine comes with a Mickey Mouse pouch. Ooh, okay. There's lots of pockets. You can use this to put your like money in and put all the valuables. It's actually a very useful pouch. The only thing is this part came kind of folded, which makes me kind of sad, but you know, it's perfectly fine. Ooh, very useful and it's so cute. The goodies aside, I'm going to choose like a page I want to draw. But to be very honest, I want to draw her. I'm just going to use this cover page as reference. Seriously, Sakura is so pretty. 
Oh, by the way, I'm using Sakura as reference, but I'm not drawing her. I'm just using her pose, her hairstyle, her anatomy as reference, but completely in my style, so it's not going to be her. So just a heads up, the girl is not going to look like Sakura. By the way, if you don't know who she is, she's a Japanese idol who was in a K-pop idol group called Eyes One. K-pop idol group, but like, it was a mixture of Japanese and Korean girls. And it was one of my favorite groups, but they disbanded recently. Sakura is so beautiful. I mean, I've been her fan since like 8 years ago, ever since she was in HKT, which is a different girls idol group. So I felt a lot of things when she left Eyes One and HKT, but like, I hope for the best for her. I'm having some technical difficulties. My pen stopped working. It was like working perfectly fine just like five minutes ago. By the way, this looks like a pencil, but it's actually a pen for this tablet. It's so weird. It feels like a real pencil. Anyways, hmm, that's like one downside of digital paintings. This is never going to happen with traditional paintings. You're not going to have any technical problems, obviously. But if your like computer stops working or something stops working, it kind of destroys your mood. Okay, I'm going to try to fix the problem. See you guys soon. And I'm back. Digital drawings and traditional drawings both have their good points and bad points, and this is definitely one of the bad points of digital drawings. There could be some technical difficulties. Like, you could draw for hours, a masterpiece, but then if something goes wrong, you can completely lose all the data. But like traditional drawings, you could do so well and then mess it up at the very end. I have to say, I really like coloring them in traditionally these days because I don't know, I really like the feeling of blending out the colors, but which one do you guys prefer? Okay, and I was done with the drawing, but then I wanted to test something out. I wanted to try coloring it in with a different technique. Seriously, this line art technique is so useful because you can always just print it out again and recolor it. So I color them in in two different ways. It's mostly the hair. The other parts I color it exactly the same but with different colors. Which one do you like more? Please comment below. Okay, next up, I want to draw one of your characters. I asked you guys to send me your original characters to me through Instagram, and I received a lot. And every time I received one, I took a screenshot and saved it in my computer. So I have a lot saved in my files, and I'm going to choose one of them. So I'm going to choose one from Keto Core. I think the character is so cute and adorable. I totally want to recreate it my style. I think she sent me this drawing like a year ago. So if you're watching this, I love your art. And I think she's going to be really surprised because it's so old. <laughs> Let's get to it.
So in my last video, the one from last year, I said that I would draw your original characters, and I finally, finally got to it. And if you haven't, it will be great if you check out my Instagram. I do read my messages from you guys, but I get loads like every single day, so I cannot respond to you, but like thank you guys always for supporting me. I honestly don't think I can draw your original characters again for a while, but I will definitely let you guys know through Instagram if I am looking for more art. But thank you guys so much. guys um we are a little bit before four but i think we're done so we drew one two three four five well six seven technically so yeah technically seven i finally got around to do it and i'm so happy i had a lot of fun i got to try out new techniques and i feel like i'm improving excuse me vmax here's my portfolio let's add them into my collection Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!